Hi everyone, I'm Jeanette with Vivo Vintage Designs. Welcome to today's video. Um, I ordered some acrylic inks by, uh, I don't know who this is, Dr. Dr. Martins. Anyway, I've never used them before. I did play around with it a little bit just to see what I could do on a couple of scrap pieces of paper. And um, I still don't know exactly what I'm going to do. But I have an idea in mind and, well, I want to see where it goes and I figured I would experiment with you. So I'm going to put down some ink, I'm going to blow out a flower, then I'm going to use a similar color to blow out some of these little fringy lines that you can get with it. And well, let's see what happens. Okay, I think I want to use maybe a pink for this. So I think I'll use my favorite, Wild Plum. Now I'm working on photo paper. It's not Kirkland photo paper. This is a photo paper that a friend of mine gives me on a roll that he ships them out. It's a long story, but anyway, he gives me this paper. It's on a roll. So I have to tape it down because it curls up, but um, Kirkland photo paper is the best. I'm out of it right now, so I'm using this. I'll be using my airbrush and my blow dryer. My airbrush is set at 40 PSI. Let me dry this. So I've seen a lot of people use these um, acrylic in inks and create some interesting effects. And I haven't watched any videos on how to use it because I want to do my own experimenting and I want to come up with something different than what other people have done. So, all right, here goes nothing. I'm gonna put down my large amount of alcohol. And I'm going to let it get fringy. As you can see, I was following it, following the ink, because I want these little fringes for my petals, because I think that um, the fringes that I want to create with the acrylic will go well with this. So I'm putting down the alcohol and then I'm taking my airbrush, holding it very close and blowing the rest of the alcohol off the paper. And that's how I get those little fringy edges. However, my tape, I think has been used one too many times and I didn't want to have to go upstairs to get more. I'm being lazy. <laughs> well, actually, yeah, I guess I am being lazy. I'm just excited to try this and see what I can do with it. So I didn't want to uh, lose my momentum for the video. I'm not worried about the edges. I never worry about the edges because I can always crop. Uh, I think I may put down just a little bit more to fill in this white area, just a little bit more. And I don't know if you can see these lines that I'm getting and how it fades. It's just so pretty the way it fades and it creates these lines. Let me see if I can bring you closer so that you can see them. See these lines right there? And over here, that's really pretty. 
Okay, let's get back to business here. I should have gone up for the tape, but we're here now, so. Okay, I'm pretty satisfied with the way that looks so far. I'm going to put just a little bit of black in the center of the pitch black and try and um, create a little shade for my center that I'll do later. So I'm just going to use very little alcohol and blow it out. This is giving me more of that fringy look, which is what I want. And now I've created this really nice shadow around here for my um, center. Okay, so I have this pink color, it's called magenta, and Again, I've not, never used this, so I have no idea if this is going to work, but we're going to give it a try. I'm going to put a drop down on this paper here, and I'm going to use this dotting tool to put down a drop and then spray it out and see what happens. Let me move this paper out of the way. So there's my first drop, and let's see what happens. Okay, that's kind of what I had in mind. I was hoping it would go a little bit more crazy. Let me see if I can... Oh, there we go. Aha. I got to move it around a bit. So I'm taking the airbrush and I'm going across the drop that I put that I put down and let me see if I can bring you closer and show you what it's creating and how pretty that is. Look at this here. That's what I was hoping would happen would happen rather. Okay, let's let's continue and see. If this turns out as well as I hoped. Okay. 
Let me put this closer to me. I just don't want to blow the paper away. I'm also wondering if I used a different color, would it be more interesting? I'm going to stick to the basics for this and I'll play more another time, but I'm really liking the effect. So if you tried the um, acrylic inks, tell me what you think and um, share some of your ideas with me. I love the way it spreads out like that. That is so pretty. It's not often I see a picture in my mind and I'm able to transfer it onto paper. Usually um, the inks have a mind of their own and what I envisioned for my painting is not what I end up with. But this is pretty darn close to what I envisioned. It almost looks like lightning. All right, I'm going to pause this so that you don't have to watch me continue to blow these little leggy things out, and then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done blowing them out. Okay, so I'm almost finished, but what I've learned is that um, instead of putting the ink at the edge of the black, if I put it in the center, I can get it even more frilly um, outside on the petals. Whereas if I put it on the out, uh, close to the, the edge of the black, what happens is it gets long and then frays out at the ends. I hope that makes sense to you. And it doesn't affect the ink, which is nice. I'm just having a hard time getting it exactly where I want it to go. Of course. But this is so pretty. I think I could do this for hours. just trying to fill in these areas around here with these little frillies. I mean, I don't know what to call them, but uh, I just want it a little bit more pronounced. All right, I'm going to stop there, and now I'm going to create my center, because I think I could do this for hours. So I'm going to take my snow cap put it on my shot glass and I'll take my micro brush and I'll start creating my center I think turning it around since it's lighter up here in this area I'm going to, going to use this as my shaded area so let me just tap some of that off and start tapping in my center I'm 
me dry that. As I'm doing this, I already have other ideas in my mind for uh, another flower, which of course I will videotape and share with you. I bought this, um, I, I received, I ordered it, I don't know, maybe a week ago, and I received it just a couple of days ago, and I just started a new job, so I haven't been able to play with it, and um, today is the first opportunity I've had, but already I have lots of ideas running around in my head. So I'm very excited to see what I can do. Okay, I'm going to leave this one alone and call it finished, except for a couple of little dots out here. Okay, finished. I'm sorry, I'm working in my basement and the lighting down here is not so great, but this is really pretty. So, of course, as always, I will list all the products used in the description box just below. Please don't forget to like, comment, and share. It helps my channel, and I really do appreciate it. Um, leave any comments below. Let me know what you think. All right. Thanks, everyone, for watching. I'll see you in the next video.